Before you begin sending money or spending money with PayPal, you must first create your PayPal account. So you want to head on over to PayPal.com and in the top right of the page, you want to click on the sign up button. But before you do that, since you are going to be entering some personal information, you want to make sure that the page that you're on, that that URL begins with HTTPS. The S means it's secure. And you also want to make sure that PayPal is spelled properly. And that said, you then want to decide if you're going to go with a personal account or a business account. Now myself, I'm going to use a personal account for my business because I'm using my name in my business and not a business name. And if you're not sure which direction you want to go, then you can always come on down to the bottom of the page and click on help or contact. It'll take you to the same page and either ask the staff of PayPal which account type is best for you. And you can do that a couple of different ways. You can email them, you can call them, or you can even see if that particular answer already exists in one of these other links. Here's their email address and you can call them or you can also sign up for the free members forum and post your question in the members forum and get feedback from a fellow PayPal user. But again, I'm going to be using a personal account for my business and then I'm going to upgrade that to a premier account. In either case, we want to click on sign up. Then you want to choose either PayPal personal, which is the one I'm going to go or PayPal business and nonprofits. And like I was saying, I'm going to go with the personal and then upgrade it. This is the link that I would be clicking on after I get my personal account set up. And by the way, you might have a different looking page that comes up as well. If we come on back here and then go back to personal and then click on the sign up page, it's going to give us this page. It's the same exact thing, only a little bit different. Again, make sure that the URL starts with HTTPS and you'll be good to go. Again, I'm clicking on personal and then click on continue and it's asking for my country of residence email address, password, and then confirm that password. Now this email address is also going to be your username and the password, they do have some stipulations here that you'll find out as soon as you put your mouse in here and click. It tells you it has to be at least eight characters and that you have to use at least one number or one of these symbols. Myself, since PayPal is dealing with my money, I would want this to be as secure as possible and I would say a minimum of 12 characters and use uppercase, lowercase, numbers, special characters, the whole nine yards. And since I have a tough time remembering what I had for dinner last night, I also use a password manager like RoboForm or LastPass and have that tool remember these passwords for me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and paste my password in there, then paste it in here again to confirm it, and then click on Continue. And now just some basic information to put in here. First name, last name, address, mobile phone if you have one, and then enter the CAPTCHA code here. Click on the box here saying that you've read and agree to their terms, and then click on the Agree and Create account. And it's really that simple. At this point, I have successfully created my PayPal account, and if you want a built-in credit line through Bill Me Later, which is an additional service that PayPal offers, then you can just fill in the blanks here. I'm going to go with Not Now. And technically at this point, you've just created your PayPal account but there are still limitations like you can't send money or pay with PayPal until you link your bank account with that PayPal account. I also suggest that you link a credit card with that account as well. If you don't have a credit card or debit card, then you might want to consider getting one of those credit cards like Walmart where the only balance on that credit card is the money that you put into it. Those types of credit cards are ideal for any type of online shopping anyway. Now by now, you've probably received an email from PayPal requiring you to click on a link in that email to verify your email address. So these are just the last few steps you have to go through in order to complete the registration process for your new PayPal account. And remember, if you want to conduct business with your PayPal account and accept payments from credit card users and payments of more than $500 a month, then you want to upgrade your personal account to the Premier account. And you'll see links to do that on most any page you go to once you've logged in with your personal account. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of this video on creating your PayPal account. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.